Hey, what's up? This is Hunter with Tortoise and Hare Software, and today we're going to be talking about estimating the value and understanding the value of an MSP lead. Uh, and this is based off a spreadsheet I, that, that I use to uh, get a better understanding for the value of the leads that I'm sending to clients to help them kind of see the big picture and understand what sort of ROI they're getting on marketing. So without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so we're here in our spreadsheet, and this spreadsheet's available for download uh, for free on our website. Um, but again, this is like a spreadsheet that I'm using to help clients understand the value of the leads that they're being sent and help them kind of see the big picture with their uh, marketing spend. So let's just you know, think about an MSP that has a uh, kind of all-in fee per employee that includes their full stack and um, you know services, and they're charging roughly $150 uh, per month per employee uh, for their MSP services. You know, you can tweak this number and uh, kind of you know the number of IT you know consumer employees within the business. So in this case, I've just put a fictitious number of 50 employees and a lead generator that's a, for a 50 employee company, assuming everyone's gonna be an IT user for that company and you're collecting $150 per month per employee for that business, you're gonna generate a monthly revenue of $7,500 and we're estimating a customer lifetime of 36 months. We you know know in the MSP space that customer lifetimes are typically longer than a three year period, but that's just what we're using to estimate the value of these leads because um, it's difficult to forecast you know uh, customer stickiness and things like that. And just like the industry as a whole kind of moves on three year contracts, so that's a, a good kind of you know baseline there. Um, so that'll give you two hundred seventy thousand kind of total MSP revenue over the lifetime of that client um, in this estimate. And then we're also adding in a projects and hardware modifier of, uh, you know, for various projects, uh, IT consulting projects that might be one-off charges or uh, hardware that you're sell, you'll sell, um, you know, things like that that are uh, just a bonus on top of the MSP revenue. And that'll give you a 67,500 revenue for a 50 person company for an estimated total lifetime revenue of 337,500. Um, you know, so that's kind of your, you know, your customer lifetime value estimate. Um, and then what we're doing in this spreadsheet is also tying that back to some marketing numbers. Um, the first of that is we're just going to kind of put in a number here for a closed probability. You know, so we're estimating that you're going to close 20% of the leads that you get sent. So, you know, one in five. Um, and that kind of turns this, you know, 337,500, assuming a 20% close probability into a, um, you know, lead value of like 67,500. Um, so that's kind of like the, the, the revenue value of this particular lead. Uh, and then we're also kind of converting that into a sales and marketing spin target. Um, for this, we've put a you know target sales and marketing spend for seven and a half percent of your revenue. Um, and if you're thinking about you know if, if we're trying to generate customers that are worth three hundred thirty-seven thousand five hundred, we only uh, want to spend seven and a half percent of our revenue. Then our target max acquisition cost for that customer is going to be twenty-five thousand roughly, and our target max lead cost on an assumed close probability of 20% is going to be 5,000. This is the number that I'm kind of paying attention to more most frequently because um, I'm looking at number of leads generated per month in like an advertising account in SEO and then um, kind of making sure that you know the clients monthly spend is below the cumulative like target max lead costs. Um, and that's kind of how I gauge the health of like what we're doing for our clients. Um, but this also helps, you know, increase confidence levels in um, marketing spend and, you know, see the big, big picture on ROI and things like that. So 
check out the spreadsheet. You know, you can tweak the columns, you know, how you uh, see fit to, you know, better reflect your managed services monthly fee. You know, I'm looking at this based on, you know, the size of a, a lead that comes in. So you can tweak and just see, like, um, I'm typically looking at this on each lead that comes in. Um, and then just, you know, getting a, a feel and you can kind of use it to forecast and uh, just get a better feel for like what sort of, you know, value you're generating from your marketing efforts. Um, so again, the spreadsheets on uh, available for download for free on our website. I'll put a link into the description on the YouTube video and uh, feel free to download it and play around with it. Um, and uh, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and like. I'm Andrew Delson with Tortoise and Hair Software. Thanks for watching.